Hey boaters, it's Jim from Raymarine Live, and this week we're down in Tampa at the International Boat Builders Exhibition, or IBEX show. So this show has everything you need to build a boat inside the exhibit hall. Well, outside, Raymarine has this really cool boat. It's a 39 yellow fin, and I want to show you some of the really neat products and options the owner has specified on this boat. Let's take a look. So here at the helm, we've got a really nice setup. You'll see this boat is outfitted with twin Axiom XL22 multifunction displays. Now the left side screen is the master display, and what we've got going on over here is a digital switching page for the boat's uh, C-Zone digital switching system. Now this custom page was built by the team at Ray Marine to control all of the lighting, uh, the fish boxes, the bait wells, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of the other electrical components on board the boat. Um, what's pretty cool about these pages is there is graphics and animation uh, built into it. So, for example, when we turn on uh, things like, you know, underwater lighting or we turn on the light bar on the front of the boat, you can see uh, the animations uh, light up to show you the status of all these devices uh, on the boat. Um, and it's really easy to control it. You can actually get to this page on any of the Axioms on board the boat. Now this one doesn't do just C-Zone, it is a full function Axiom XL, so we can do things like charting and radar and sonar, um, and we can also do them over here on the starboard side. We have another Axiom XL22, so you can see we're running charts. We have uh, Cam 220 looking aft, um, and then this boat is actually really well equipped in the sonar department too. It has our Real Vision 3D sonar. Uh, it also has a CP570, that's our professional 2KW chirp sonar going on in here. So this thing is absolutely built to fish. Now, um, these are touch screens, these XL22s, um, but the owner uh, obviously knew that there are going to be times when he's out in heavy seas fishing, rocking and rolling a little bit. So he added the RMK10 uh, keypad. So we've got one of those here uh, in the helm. So the RMK10 is actually linked to both of these displays. So you can control both screens from this RMK10 and it gives you full functionality. Here's your rotary control. There's a trackpad on the top, obviously your home key, your menu key, and it's even got some autopilot controls in here too. Um, offshore, it's important to have good communications with other boats around you. So we've got two uh, Ray, I think these are Ray 73 uh, VHFs. Uh, he's got a primary and a backup now, a really cool option that uh, they installed on this boat that um, I'm a big fan of, I wish uh, more people took advantage of this, is the remote mic placement. So on these Raymarine VHF radios, you can actually connect uh, the handset up to the rear of the radio. So you don't end up with the coil cords, you know, hanging down uh, in your line of sight or hanging across the, the helm. So it's a really uh, nice, uh, tidy installation. Uh, it keeps the mics at easy reach, but they're also out of the way so they don't get banged up and you don't have the cords uh, dangling in front of you. Um, so some really cool stuff they've done here on the helm of this yellow fin. Um, let's go take a look aft in the cockpit. There's some cool stuff there too. So as we mentioned before, this boat is absolutely built to fish. So here we've got an Axiom Plus 12 uh, in the cockpit. So the crew back here uh, can see the sonar, they can see the chart, um, anything that you can do from the helm, you can do back here as well. It's a full function uh, MFD. Uh, we've got another RMK10. So again, if there are times when the touchscreen is not the right uh, method of operation, we got a uh, keypad backup right here as well, trackpad, uh, even autopilot controls for the boat. Uh, this is a remote card reader. Um, these Axiom Plus displays their card readers on the back of the unit. Uh, so they chose the option to pull uh, the card reader up to the front. So this uh, surface mount card reader makes it really easy uh, to pop a map card in or out here. And there's other map card readers, of course, up in the helm display too. Uh, let's just take a peek up here um, on the underside of the hardtop. We've got a Cam 220 facing aft. Uh, so this is a high definition digital camera. Uh, it does have night vision capability as well, so in the dark you can see the whole aft end of this boat very, very nicely. This is also tied into the augmented reality system on the boat. There is an AR200 sensor up on the hardtop that measures the boat's pitch, roll, and position, feeds it back to all the axioms on board, and adds the augmented reality overlays. So some really, really cool technology on this yellow fin here at Ibex. Let's take a look at the hardtop and see what's up there. So here we are looking at the hardtop on this boat, and uh, you can see, once again, this boat has all the options on it. We've got this awesome LED light bar. We've also got a FLIR M364C uh, maritime thermal vision camera. 
Uh, this is our dual payload camera, so it has both thermal uh, plus a high definition uh, color daylight camera that also has a low light mode. Um, the cameras on this are unbelievable. Uh, it's all gyro stabilized, it has color thermal vision, and it ties in beautifully with all the axioms down below. Just behind it, this is a four foot 12 kW Magnum open array radar with bird mode. So once again, this boat is built to find the fish. The bird mode in the Magnum is a fantastic tool for finding fish out on the horizon, uh, leading you uh, to wherever the, uh, the, the birds and the fish are. Just behind that on the hard top, we've got a couple of sensors there. That is an AR200 uh, augmented reality sensor module in the middle and a Raystar 130 GPS sensor, I think is what that other puck is uh, up there. So uh, dual GPS sensors and of course their VHF antennas, Sirius XM, all that stuff up here too. So again, awesome technology on this boat. I wanna show you one more thing down below because you, not, there's nothing like a good day of fishing without having some awesome entertainment on board and this boat has that covered as well. Let's take a closer look at it. So no center console battle wagon is complete without an absolutely killer audio system and this boat has that covered as well. Uh, so down here we have one of the JO Audio uh, Media Master head units um, and it is also tied in to the Axioms on board this boat. So here is Axioms audio app. Uh, you can see it even identifies that this is a JL system. We have control over the volume, the source, all the zones on board the boat. Now another way you can control the audio is from the sweep out uh, sidebar, which I have opened up here on the adjacent uh, Axiom. So you can pull this out uh, from the side just like this. And again, quick and easy access to your audio controls. And you can get it at this on any Axiom. So they can do it here at the helm, they can do it back aft in the cockpit. So it's probably gonna sound a little echoey and that's because we're inside the center console. Uh, but I wanted to give a nod to the installers at Yellowfin that did an awesome job wiring this system up. So here's what the backside of it looks. There's the Axiom XLs on the top. That's the backside of the VHF radios. Uh, you can see a remote card reader in there. Uh, down below, you'll see some of the other components for the radar and the autopilot. Uh, but what I wanted to really point out is the nice job they did getting this wire all uh, managed uh, very, very well. Everything's tied in nice and tight. It's secure, it's snug, it's orderly. There's even labels on lots of the cables, so it's very easy to identify all the components that are in there. So nice job, Yellowfin team, getting this boat rigged up. So thanks for watching our tour of this awesome Yellowfin 39 here at Ibex. I want to remind you to like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified about the next episode of Raymarine Live, which will be coming up soon. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.